Good morning. The intention of today's Mass is for Ralph Kappelman and Dr. Fernando Cabernet. The Lord has led you in... I'm sorry. He gave the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will be moved in, in not, and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent, sent to, to heal. heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom they may rejoice in heaven over what gladness them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whoever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them. Save yourselves from this corruption, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted this message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The Lord is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and to preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the, the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Christ had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When he had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, 
Tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabunai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and they reported what he had told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The Gospel reading for today invites, invites us to view the resurrection through the eyes of Mary Magdalene. I find it easy to identify with Mary because she is so human. She is emotional and, passion, and passionately reacts to events that stir her emotions. The story of her, of her encounter with Jesus on Easter morning is a wonderful example of that. On this morning, Mary's emotions range from great sadness to, be, to bewilderment and then to pure joy. I find it easy to identify with Mary and her emotions. We all can probably picture ourselves reacting as she did if we had been, with, if, if we had been present on the glorious morning. As the gospel begins, we see Mary sitting alone near the tomb after the departure of Peter and John. It is still dark and Mary is very sad. She is quietly weeping and missing Jesus. Added to her grief is the confusion of finding the tomb empty. Those of us who have experienced the death of a loved one can identify with the sadness that Mary feels. But then, rather abruptly, Mary's sadness gives way to bewilderment. She suddenly sees two strangers in the tomb. They are unknown to her, and she wonders how they came into the tomb. Then, Mary is confronted with another puzzle. She hears someone behind her, and when she turns around, there is another man in the garden, and she thinks it is the gardener. But Mary's perplexity does not last long. By the mere pronunciation of her name, Jesus turns, Mary, turns Mary's grief into joy. She hears the familiar voice of Jesus, the warmth and love of his voice, and sees Jesus in front of her. But Mary is still not completely sure, and so she does what I think most of us would do in her place. She reaches out and touches Jesus. Only then does the tremendous joy of the moment come over her. Mary is so full of joy that she hangs on to Jesus and doesn't want to let go. It takes, a, it takes a gentle nudge from Jesus to make her stop clinging to him. This Easter week, all of us are called to experience the great joy of the resurrection. I find that a great way to do, I find that a great way to do that is to imagine myself with Mary outside the tomb. And I try to experience the marvelous joy that flooded her whole being at the moment that she recognized Jesus. with confidence that God is always with us. Let us offer him our prayers. For all members of the church, may the risen Lord inspire our witness to the gospel each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may God guide them in working together to address the needs of the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are discouraged by illness, may God bring them full healing of mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For catechists and those who minister to this faith community in the liturgy, may God bless their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. For the faithful departed, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For Ralph Kappelman and Dr. Fernando Cabernet, for whom this Mass is especially being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the prayers and petitions in our parish book of intentions, and for those we hold in the quiet of our hearts, Lord, hear let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are the Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed our Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine and to offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name and for the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection, our annexion and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through, his, through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voice, we pray, join with theirs and one chorus of exalted praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. God God of of heaven and earth. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed Blessed is he who comes comes in the name name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <coughs> When a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, I love you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and proclaim, proclaim and profess your resurrection until you, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, our your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honors yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be all of you. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the <coughs> sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only I say the word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion as prayed by Pope Francis. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot be, so I can, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Today's communion antiphon. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above, alleluia. Let us pray. Hear us, almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the death is the foundation of our hope. The hope that we too who believe in him will seem giving God face and face and share in his everlasting glory and joy. Do you recognize the Lord's present with you in his words and the breaking of bread and his church and the body of Christ? Do you recognize Jesus Christ now in home when you stay with your loved one, with your family, with your children, with your friends? in one home. Lord Jesus, may I never fail to recognize your voice nor lost sight of your present as you open the scripture for me and speak your life-giving word. Amen. I would like to wish all of you many blessings, save the faith, and please be saved together with Jesus, with your family, with your friends. Thank you, Deacon. Thank you for help us to make this wonderful mess available to be in the middle of your room. And please pray for us and we pray for you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.